The Thunder Bay Public Library held the first of three information sessions on Saturday for the public to learn more about the proposed centralized location. If approved, it would be located at Intercity Shopping Centre with the closure of neighbourhood branches still a possibility. The Thunder Bay Public Library continues to hold community consultation as it's set to present its master facilities plan to Council in June. The public had a chance to meet with officials and the lead architect at Intercity Shopping Centre on Saturday, where the library is planning to build a new centralized location. Brody's uh, 1912 construction, Waverly's from the 1950s, uh, and they haven't kept pace. Library CEO Richard Togman says many members of the public are concerned about a central location causing closures of some neighbourhood branches. Togman stresses, well, that's the way council seems to be leaning, the central location would address many challenges that currently come with the neighborhood branches. And we don't have enough rooms to do the things we need to do. So, for example, when we run our Reading Buddies program, so having volunteers from the community, helping kids learn, uh, kind of get better at their reading, we ran it last summer at Waverly, and we ran out of space. We literally had to start turning away kids wanting help with their reading because we didn't have enough programming room. The library has been in discussions with Intercity Shopping Centre throughout the process. Togman couldn't reveal potential rent prices they'd pay if a location was put there. The plan is for the centralized library to move into the former Lowe's site. There are the range of experiences of people, people with young families, uh, people who are uh, seniors, people who are in between. Ryan Gorey is the architect working on the potential centralized location and recognizes the wide range of uses a facility like this would need to accommodate. So if you're doing research or if you're just coming for casual reading purposes, uh, if you're a youth who is looking to engage in, um, you know, technological uh, things like AR and VR, video games, you know, so there's, I feel like there's enough offering there for all different ranges. And I mean, um, I think it's really exciting compared, yeah, compared to the libraries I'm used to and growing up. There will be more chances for the public to get involved, including a presentation at Mary J. L. Black Library on Tuesday and Waverly Library on Thursday.